those out there. Hold it up. Say after me, this is God's Word. It is eternal. It is unfailing. It is uncompromised. It will live forever. It is bread to the hungry. It is drink to the thirsty. It is healing to the sick. It is comfort to the lonely. It is God's eternal word. I live by it. I walk with it. It keeps me living. It keeps me healed. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. I don't know what all is here tonight, but there is glory in this place. There is healing in this place. There is deliverance in this place. I want to read with you, and you read with me God's Word for a moment. And I may just preach a moment. After all, you know, I was called to be a preacher, so I should preach. Amen. Brother Ben Dalton, the minister of the Bowling Green Kentucky Church, said after God called him, the Holy Ghost said to him, I want you to do one thing, and that's preach. He was a salesman, and he had to sell Frito-Lay chips when they were first starting door to door. He walked up to the first door that he was going to peddle his Frito-Lay, opened his mouth, he said, preacher, preacher, preacher. <laughs> they shut the door. <laughs> no good reaction. The devil said to him, you're going to be bankrupt. You'll wind up in poverty. Brother Dalton heard that voice. I called you to be a preacher. So he went to the next door of this store that he was trying to get them to carry freedom away. That's when the Marcus didn't carry them. By the way, Brother Roberts, the man that founded this church, developed the recipe of Frito-Lay. The Fritos, you know, you call them, what do you call them? Fritos. Fritos. Fritos, Fritos, I guess you call them. Corn chips. Corn chips, I guess you call them. Corn chips. But he developed the recipe for that, the man that founded this church. He was the founder of that recipe that people now, you can't eat, but what is it, you can't, you can't stop with one. Isn't that Oh, that's the wrong one. Amen. That's all right. That's like saying that uh, Moses built the ark. It's all right. When you get anointed of God, anything goes. Amen. You can have Moses building the ark and Daniel preaching on the day of Pentecost. And it will come out all right. Praise the name of the Lord. Because God is a good God all the time. Amen. Let me tell you something. God is on the scene and he's present. God is with his people. God is a God that looks down upon his people. So Brother Ben Dalton, he just kept going and going and going till needs to say, he said, preacher, preacher, preacher. Everywhere he would go. Yeah. Somebody is saying something back here. No, I was just getting you on track. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Amen. I appreciate you getting me on track. Bless the name of the Lord. Let me go. I want you to go to your Bible, to the Word. And uh, I, I thank my God for my elders around me that can get me on track. Amen. And you'll really need to do that the day I ask you is your name, Charlie. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 In Isaiah, his name is Bill, of course. Uh, so, so I want you, if you're here tonight and you are, I want you to realize that you need to make a U-turn in your life. Not next week, not tomorrow, but tonight. You can't bargain with God. You can't say, I will, if. You can't say, I'm going to. God is too powerful here tonight. God is too powerful here tonight. God is too omnipotent. Brother, this church had better not simmer down right now. God is blessing.
in this church. Yes, 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 yes. He's to get the play game. Yes, yes. Come on, I'm talking to the church right now. Yes, yes, yes. God is blessing this church. God is blessing this church. God is bringing new people, souls. God is dealing with hearts. God is letting people drive miles unheard of to be in our church. God is speaking to people. God is healing and delivering people. These are Bible days. Amen, brother. These are the days when the gospel is alive yes. and well. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Tell the devil I said that. Yes. Amen. He knows it. He knows it. Yes. Praise our God. Let me tell you something right now. We are living in this day. I'm glad to see Becky home tonight. Praise, uh, Petra, it's good to see you and the wife back there. Praise the name of the Lord. This is where you need to be Amen. at the appointed time. Rebecca, it's good to see all grown up here. Used to be our little girl. She's grown up now into a young lady back there. And I'm glad to see everybody else. Isaiah, the 61st chapter, the first verse. I'm going to read lengthy. I want you to uh, get this word. It's familiar to many of you, but I want to echo it again because I believe it's God, God wanting his people tonight to take observance of God. Isaiah 61 and 1. How many knows where this was repeated? Where was this repeated? It was repeated in Luke, the fourth chapter. It was repeated by Jesus, whom it's referring to in prophecy. In the 61st chapter of Isaiah, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. I'd rather have God's Spirit upon me than the devil's Spirit. I said I'd rather have God's Spirit upon me than the devil's Spirit. Because the devil's Spirit is destructive. He's a thief. He comes to steal, rob, kill, and destroy. But the Spirit of the Lord comes to heal, to make right, to make a remedy in your life. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Thank God there is an anointing of God. It was back there in the old covenant. It's there in the day of Christ. And the, the anointing means simply that God plastered you. Praise the name of the Lord. Now that's a, that's a common word I'll use for today. You know when something overwhelms you, when it comes upon you, you can't resist it. It just changes the channel of your life. It switches all the channels off and produces one channel, and that's Christ in your life. That is anointing when you have a disease that no man can cure you from. And yet God, in a moment, anoints you to be healed of that disease. When you have a habit or a, a phobia or a type of mania or depression or fear, and suddenly God removes it from you. That is something to praise Him for Amen. and to give Him glory. Amen. Blessed be the name Amen. of the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. I have never felt pain when I was anointed. I've never felt inferior when I was anointed. I've never felt down when I was anointed. I've never felt lonely when I was anointed. I've never felt blue and sad when I was lonely, uh, when I was anointed. Praise the name of the Lord because the anointing of God the Bible said in Acts, the 10th chapter, the 38th verse, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with power and he went about Holy Ghost and power and he went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed for the devil for God was with him. When anointing comes to a church, when anointing comes to the platform, when anointing comes to the band, when anointing comes to the piano, when anointing comes to the organ, the keyboard, to the choir, to the praise singer, there is a, an anointing of God that will loose the devil's uh, shackles upon you. Praise the name of the Lord. I feel that anointing here tonight. I can back up. I can sit down. I can shut up. I can be silent. I'm not going to shut up. I'm not going to back down. I'm going to give God the glory. Hallelujah. Because sin is not active here tonight. Amen. Trouble 
is not in here. No. Praise God, there's a place where there's no trouble. That's right. Oh, my God, you step out that door and you'll run into trouble before you get to Manatee Avenue. Right. Amen. Amen. But in here, there's no trouble. Yes. There's peace here tonight. Right. There's joy here tonight. There's healing here tonight. Somebody's going to be delivered of a, of a terrible illness in this place tonight. Praise the name of the Lord, my God. Because there's men here that will lay hands on you if you want them to. They're called to do that. They're anointed of God. They're the elders of the church. They're not called to evangelism. They're not called to some other uh, gift in the church. There are, there are men here that are the elders of the church that are called to lay hands on you. And God will heal you. Praise the name of the Lord. See, it is time. It is time. It is time for us to be anointed. Amen. Amen. You can have church and not be anointed. You can sit in that chair for one hour and feel like your lumbago, arthritis, neuritis, and all the other rightest boys are working you over. Praise the name of the Lord. You can sit there and frown. You can worry. You can fear. You can be in depression. But if the anointing of God is in this place and it's upon you, you will not be any of those things. You will feel something unshackling your bones and loosening your soul. My God, human beings worry, don't they? Don't they fear? People get in trouble. They're, they're possessed. Did you know? A people or creature habits. Uh, you can start doing one thing and do it again and do it again and do it again and you'll become a slave to it. You'll become an addict to it. You'll become addicted to it. But you can take Christ. You can just keep on praising him. You can just keep on. I, I, let, me, let me get out where I want to go here. There, there's a lot of things we do with our body. All kind of pills go in our mouth. All kind of stuff goes in our mouth. All kind of stuff goes in our ear. Uh, we're creatures of habit, nervous habits, good habits, bad habits. Let me tell you something. If you get a hold of God tonight in this place, uh, the worry, the fear. As a minister, I could worry about where the church is going. I could worry about what's happening to the general church because I'm concerned about other churches besides this one right here. I'm not a selfish man. I, I'm concerned about... Brother Melvin Wilkinson with cancer tonight in Indianapolis. I'm concerned about the church I hear over here or over there maybe going through something. Why? Because in the body of Christ, ouch, I pinched my hand, but I felt it all over. Praise the name of the Lord. If this is the body of Christ. It doesn't matter where it is and who it is. We're going to feel the pain and the suffering. Well, let me tell you something right now. When God covers the church uh, with that anointing, it will take away that worry. It will take away that fear. Because let me tell you right now, who's running the show? Jesus. I said, who's running the show? Jesus. Is our bishop in Cincinnati? No. Is our bishop in St. Louis? No. Is our bishop in the Vatican? No. Is our bishop over in Cleveland, Tennessee? No. Oh, yes, sir. No, he isn't. I'll tell you where our bishop is. He's sitting at the right hand of the Father. Praise the name of the Lord. I said he's sitting at the right hand of the Father. That's where, that's where our bishop is. Somebody said, Bishop so-and-so over here. Prophet so-and-so over there. Well, I don't worry about these earthly prophets. I don't worry about these earthly bishops. I'm connected to the connection that's connected to the connection that's connected to the connection. And I know where the head is, and I know where I am, and I just say thank you, Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. you to make a U-turn. I want you to make a U-turn because God is bringing his sheep home. Pedro, you're not here by accident tonight. You may or may not listen to me, but I hope you will. God just doesn't want you here on Sunday night. God wants to rejuvenate, revive, and refresh your life and your home. And he's brought Becky back here. That's a wonderful, wonderful thing. She was in Tennessee, wasn't it? And God, uh, God brought you back. Praise the name of the Lord. God's gathering his people home. 
God's talking to his people. Come on. You quit playing footsie with Satan. You quit playing a uh, 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 party time with the devil. You tell him off. Tell him either come with you and serve God or he's going one way and you're going another. Praise the name of the Lord. You can't be unequally yoked together. You cannot uh, serve God and serve mammon. You cannot have two masters. Praise the name of the Lord. Because if you do, you're going to mess up your life. But if you tell everybody and anybody, Cousin Bill, Aunt uh, Sally, and uh, Cousin Joe, and all the rest, praise the name of the Lord, that you are walking the king's highway, that you're going the upward way, that you're young people here tonight. Let me tell you young people in this house, there's a lot of you. You don't need anything but Jesus. You don't need anything more. You don't need anything more. You just need Jesus. All we need is more of Jesus. I think I'll stop and praise him a little bit. I thank the Lord. Praise your name. I love him tonight. I'm preaching like I feel. This is Brother This is brother Barlow. This is the fellow God called a few years ago. Some people don't. I don't think everybody likes me, understands me. Uh, but I'm not going to take any votes because I'm not a politician. And let me tell you, if you like me, praise God. If you don't, praise God. I'm not really not, I'm really not tuned up to you. I'm tuned up to a higher power. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. If you're here tonight, you without Jesus Christ, you better not leave this place without finding him, without coming to him, without walking with him without being with him tonight. They make a U-turn in your life. What do you want out of life, happiness? You won't get it without Christ. You want peace of mind? You won't have it. Well, I'll drop in church Sunday night and that'll fix me. Yeah. Same as you go down and get one of these uh, uh, druggers down here. Uh, you know, uh, give you a pop your pill for a minute. How long will it last? One hour, two hours, three hours, five hours? I'll pop in church once in a while, and I'll, uh, he'll take me home to heaven. Why would he take you home to heaven when you got so much baggage you need to get rid of? Amen. 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 Preach it. Well, I'll, I'll pay him a little attention. Did you ever marry a woman paying her a little attention? Did you ever keep a girl paying her a little attention? Did you ever keep a boy paying him a little attention? Did you ever make peace in the house paying a little attention? Ah, uh, you don't do it that way. No, you don't. Praise the name of the Lord. Well, I'll pay her a little attention. I'll pay him a little. You better pay her a lot of attention. Yes, sir. Right. You better pay her a whole lot of attention. You better tell her morning, noon, and night, I love you. I love you. I don't think that's good for her. Well, it may not be good for you, but it's good for her. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And it's good for him. Praise the name of the Lord. Because Jesus, Jesus was anointed. Yes. Come on. Come on. Yes. How God anointed Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Because the Lord has anointed me to <coughs> preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. To proclaim liberty to the captives. Yes. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. God delights in opening prison doors for people to walk out of. Whatever prison there, you know, something that's bothered me and bothers me and bothers me, and I'm, I'm doing something about it in this local church. It bothers me to let people kid themselves that they can live partially for Christ and partially for the world. It bothers me to think that people can think they're going to heaven with a spirit that is shackled in a prison, a mental prison, and they can't even be free enough to follow what Christ wants them to do. Come on. It bothers me to think that people are kidding them, and maybe I'm letting them, and that bothers me even more. So I've decided not to let them be kidded anymore. I'm going to say things plainly, open, amen. I'm going to tell you just like it is. I'm going to tell you just like it is. You can't go to heaven without Jesus Christ takes complete control of your life. You can't see the face of God. You can't live on this earth and give him a little bit, a little part. You must give him all.
Praise the name of the Lord. You can't go to heaven and be a rebellious teenager. You can't go to heaven and rebel against mother and dad. You can't go to heaven and rebel against those that have authority over you in the Lord. You can't go to heaven and keep a fuss and a fight going uh, from this corner to that corner. Amen. You can't go to heaven and frown two-thirds of the time. You can't go to heaven without using the talent and the gift God gave you. Praise the name of the Lord. So I'm telling you something right now. I can't do a little straight here. I, I couldn't pick up that horn and make that talk like you do or like you do. I couldn't get here and make this uh, sing. I couldn't go over there and make that sing. I can't do what some of these men can do and the rest can do. But you know what I can do? I can do what I can do. Yes. And by the grace of God, if I do that, yes. God will go to bless me. Yes. If I lift up the name of Jesus, how many please God will bless you? Yes. If I lift up the name of Jesus, yes. amen. Well, I, 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 you know, I, I, I wish I could preach like that. Well, you know, you might as well quit wishing because you never will. But if you'll be willing to preach like God wants you to preach, amen. I can't say like her. I'm off key. She's never off key. Well, you don't know that. Only God knows that uh, because God has the perfect key. But it doesn't matter. You can do what you can do because Jesus came to liberate us, to anoint us, and to move upon us. Come on, Lord. You know, and I'll say this, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll uh, get this where I want to go with this. Uh, did you know that this church right here is so blessed? It's so blessed. There is no place like this place uh, anywhere near this place. Uh, right down here on the east end of the city tonight, we are here to praise the name of Jesus. We're here to let the Holy Spirit run through this building uh, like a living river. We're going to see the Holy Spirit touch you. And if you're here and you have any kind of halfway conviction, halfway commitment, halfway giving yourself, break it tonight. Change it tonight. Walk away. Someone said, but I don't know how I could ever be like you folks because I just... I'm going to take three or four things before I sit down here and just say them and you'll, you'll and, and get moved back here and let's see, see what God wants to do with others. <laughs> let me tell you something right now. You can make a thousand reasons why that you cannot be the vessel that God wants you to be. I'm not educated enough. I'm not smart enough. I don't sing well enough. I don't have enough money. Um, I have hang-ups. Uh, there are things that bothers me. I'll go right on down that list. You know what Jesus Christ does with that? I'm too old. I'm too young. Uh, I'm too uh, small. I'm too large. Uh, you know what Jesus does with that? He just clicks it out of the way. Because it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter how you are or what you are because you're not going to do it anyway. Because there's a new creation that's going to do it. Praise the name of the Lord. It isn't you that's going to bless the people. It's him. Yeah. It isn't you that's going to be what you, you, you want to be. It's him that will make you what you need to be. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. God can take any objection. God can take any reason. God can take any kind of darkness. God can take any kind of attitude or problem or issue. God can take any kind of poverty or riches. It doesn't matter. In Jesus Christ came to liberate, to set free, to make you whole. Praise the name of the Lord. But Brother Marlowe, if I commit my life to Christ tonight, that way, and I'll be honest with you, before this meeting is over, I would like to see the Spirit of God touch you. Touch you. Amen. And just let you just suddenly walk out of the prison of self and others. And walk in the freedom and say, it's my conviction that I have no problems he can't deal with. He's Lord and Master. Praise the name 
of the Lord. He's Lord and Master of my life. Because he can take every issue there is tonight and he can solve it. He can redeem it. He can make it whole. Praise the name. Well, well, I'm getting through to some. Bless the name of the Lord. I'm getting through to some. And if you're hungry enough tonight, if you want Christ enough tonight, if you want his glory enough tonight, I advise you right now to say, I'm coming home tonight. I'm coming home. I'm coming home to the Master. I'm coming home to the Lord. Let's give him a praise offering. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus came as the anointed one of God to set you free. And you'll never be bound again. Never, 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 never be a prisoner again. But Brother Marlowe, if I do what you're asking me tonight to do, I won't understand. When I get up here, what will I do when I get here? Christ will take over. And you come here, you yield, and Christ will take over. But if I do that, I don't know what will happen at home. I don't know what will happen to my security. Well, you don't really have security. Without Jesus Christ, you have no security. Amen. If I just, if I just take that step, I'm not sure where my leaning post will be. Leaning, leaning, safe and secure from all. your security because if you have the rock you've got all the security you need in this life yes. don't worry about tomorrow because if you've got the rock you've got all the security you need yes. praise the name of the Lord praise I love him tonight I feel his presence I wonder what God is going to do the rest of this night I wonder how the Holy Spirit is going to move in a mighty way Lift your hands one more time, and let's give him a praise offering. Amen, amen. And while you've got your hands lifted, say, Lord, come in, come in, and water me, and refresh me, and give me that liberty that Brother Barlow is speaking about tonight. And don't let me leave here tonight. You'll never solve your problems. You'll never be big enough, strong enough to solve your problems. Jesus Christ will fix it for you tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. Commit, convict, and convert tonight. And Christ will set you free. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen.